So I just spent the last two hours at SoftBank and experienced possibly a not so rare case of discrimination when it comes to dealing with foreigners in business. Now understand, I have been a customer of SoftBank for over 10 years. I have uh, a spouse visa. Um, I I've, uh, have a residency card, which is from the Ministry of Justice. And I have a Japanese driver's license. And in order for me to rent a pocket Wi-Fi device, they wanted my passport. And I really feel that this was why do you need my passport? I mean, you've got two forms of ID. You've got me as a customer. I'm in your system. And yet they were refused to rent me a pocket Wi-Fi because I didn't have my passport with me. And the whole point of having a department, you know, um, a Ministry of Justice residence card is so you don't have to walk around with your passport. Um, and it's very infuriating because ultimately it's a policy that is really not thought out, it's just in place. And being Japanese, there's no bending of the rules. It's This is the policy, if you're a foreigner, regardless of your stay, your status in Japan, you need your passport. So I've gone to Yamada Denki because SoftBank let me down and I've met this amazing guy. Namai wa nandeska? Shimizu. Shimizu. And he basically went and showed us the map here. This is really good service from Yamada Denki. Shows us a map here of the coverage. So you can look at this one here and you can actually look at this one here, the competitor. And ultimately, I don't need my passport. Like I said, my driver's license and my um, uh, Ministry of Justice residence card is all I need with a credit card. That's it. So if you are traveling to Japan, come to Yamada Denki, meet Shimizu-san, meet him and he will hook you up with the best Wi-Fi service.